the oracles of God shall speak of judgment and righteousness and salvation. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rawacha, Kodash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's name. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son's name. The Son did say he would come in the name of the Father, right? Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, like Paul said, give double honors to the elders who rule well. Single honors to the elect, all you men that's making yourself living sacrifices and risking your freedom and life to do so, like Elder Malcolm says. And peace and blessings be to the sincere men and women and children that do consist of the one third. And also to you confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth, because not every Hebrew Israelite will look like a so-called black man. Now, the reason why I'm making this cuts through the spirit, this is raw too. Thinking of those who will speak on behalf of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the God of the Bible, that will make you an oracle, all right? If you watch the movie The Matrix, you know how we live in a feminist society, even back then when they came out with that. The oracle was what? An older, so called black looking woman. And what happened when um, she told Neo, don't worry about that. And he said, what? And he knocked over the Voss and I think it broke. She said that. that what, that's what an oracle is. An oracle will be someone who can be clairvoyant. What is clairvoyant? Prophetic. Prophecy. Pro means before. Facet means to speak. And now that this individual named Ronald Dalton has come about, a lot of more of our people wants to flock to it. See, the thing is, you can't come in some other way. And we and when you speak on behalf of the Most High, it has to be according to his word. Isaiah 8 and 20 to the law and testimony. If they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. So when you have individuals saying, oh, it's foolishness to believe that what the word ignorantly called UFOs are going to save us. Well, then how can the same man that's laughing at us? The same man is laughing at us. How can he not see that even the United States government, their military is talking about creating a space force for what? So once again, let's get to the scriptures. First Peter four and 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Who name is Yahweh? Listen. If any man minister, minister means to serve. Let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. See, the Lord used you as a vessel to expand the word more. But it's not because of you. It's because of who recommended you. Someone of renown according to the society. Nonetheless, the Lord always said it. In the book of Job, I think it's Job 12. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So that's just another chess move the Most High made to use him as a pawn because now when the Lord does bring his judgment, you have no excuse anymore, Jake. Y'all know who y'all are. You know what you need to do. And it's been spoken to you since going back to the 80s, the late 80s, not to what? When, when did this, his movie come out or his audio? 2016? No, before I was born. And I tell you my age, I'm 34. Yeah, I age like wine, but I'm 34. So the elders been preaching this before I was even conceived, conception, even thought about. So why is everybody flocking to this man rather than to the men who've been out there making themselves living sacrifices for you to get this word? If those men never laid the foundation to do that, how would you even know who um, Ronald Dalton is and anybody else with these spin off in these books? Right? Anyway, let's get back to it. Continuing, that God in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Mashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever among. Because that goes back to St. John, the 14th chapter. The spirit of truth which the world cannot receive. You have to eat the whole roll. See, once again, you're trying to come with your own doctrine. You say we need to leave here and go to Africa. Now you're going against prophecy. Who, who, who's ever able to resist the Lord's will? This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For Yahweh, for the Lord, will have mercy on Jacob 
and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. The strangers are Israelite foreigners. And it says the Lord said he was going to set us in our own land. So why would I follow a man and say we need to leave Babylon, which is America, and go to Africa? So you, so, so this man is not this man is not an oracle of the Lord, because the Lord never said to do that. Huh? The Lord never said to do that. And then for you to make fun of the strangers of our salvation, you're just gonna you, you're gonna be doing breast strokes in a lake of fire, my friend. Okay, listen to this. Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets. Ooh. And I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. The Lord, in that, in that verse, the prophets was mentioned twice. So you have to be a prophet. See, let me say this really quick. There, there's brothers that I, I talk to. They don't go out and preach. So guess what? They're not apostles. But guess what they are? They are prophets. And they're warning the people. And they're feeding the sheep. Yeah? But they're speaking of prophecy. What's the spirit of, of, of Hamashiach Yehawashai? The only begotten son. The spirit of what? Prophecy. Yeah? Prophecy. Revelation 19 and 10. So if you're not warning the people of the race wars that are to come, if you're not warning the people of the Haragma, which is Revelation 13, which goes back to the MOTB, it's evident now. It's, it's, it's so much information out there. It's like that Revelation, what is it, Revelation 12, when it says he um the devil coming down with great wrath, knowing that he had but a short time. They're, they're on a short lease. Right? They have a short time. So the prophets will warn the people. What are you doing? You're not doing that. You're not an oracle of God. And not just him, all these fake false prophets and these fake false pastors making money, filling their own belly, doing it for 50 lucre, saying the Lord going to destroy all of you. And those of you lying just to get likes and views and things like that. This is not a game. This is a very serious matter. And, and preaching the proper doctrine does matter. The, you know what? The words of how about Shema Shai matter. That's what matters the most. I know black lives matter. I know white lives matter. Only the elect of the Israelites' lives matter. And then the remnant of you heathens, because we're going to need subjects in the kingdom. Yeah? Let's go to Second Esdras. Because the Lord tells you how to speak to his people. If you're going to be an oracle of the Lord... Be a prophet. You don't have to be an apostle, but be a prophet. So guess what you must speak in? Prophecy. Stop playing. Second Ezra, this is in the Apocrypha, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Prophecy, Mr. Dalton. <laughs> the scripture says the Lord love of none but him that dwelleth with wisdom and also that goes back to the deep dark parables of the Bible listen to this I'm pretty sure y'all familiar with this one Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5 a wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise in their dark sayings. Think about that. It said he will, it said, a man of wisdom will attain unto wise counsels. Okay, I have elders, the elders of Great Millstone, the four heads. Guess who guess who their counsel was? Their elders who will be like grandfathers to us. Yeah? 
They're Abba Bivens. That's who those men have obtained counsel from. And now I'm obtaining counsel from them. It's just like the art that I take, the martial arts that I take. I can learn Jeet Kune Do from Bruce Lee. But guess what he learned? He learned Wing Chun from Ikman. Get what I'm saying? It's the same lineage. But the point of the matter is that I obtained wisdom from the elders of Great Millstone. And, and Paul said, this is, how, this is what I always say this. If you're not an elder, then who are you giving double honors to? If you claim to be a part of the elect, if you claim to be a prophet or an apostle or, or one of the servants of Yahweh Bashim Shai, I would say, who you give double honors to? And don't let and don't let your age make you um become a bigot. Because there's men that's the same age as elders that call the elders the elders, man. It's about the spirit, the age of your spirit. Are you are you still on milk or are you consuming meat? It's very this is very serious. Anybody can come out and say I'm an Israelite. Okay, now that you know better, are you gonna do better? Right? So once again. Proverbs 1 and 5, a wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. And the scripture says, miss not the discourse of the elders. Once again, who you give a double honor to if you're not an elder? All right. And also as being the oracle of, of the most high. Listen to this. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The Lord tells us the secrets of the Bible. So what do you get your understanding from? Like the elder said, you say one day you open up the Bible and you you say you saw something in Deuteronomy or you saw something in there. And you started asking questions and all of a sudden it just came to you. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. I'm being honest. I'm not saying that you're not being sincere in what you're saying, sir, but that's not how it works. How, how did I come to the truth? Got to an argument one day at the house with my with one of my brothers and the whole family was like, well, uh, well like against me. I walked to my grandma's house and I sat there on the side of the road one day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That same day. And I just cried to the Lord. I said, why is it like this? And I got, I had, I had everything I ever wanted. I had everything I ever needed. Why is it that we just can't get along in the family and everything like that? Then I met a Muslim dude. He told me to get a Quran. The website I went to, I bought the Quran and I bought from Babylon to Timbuktu. I'm like the black Hebrew races. And I was reading, I was reading, I was reading. And then I came across where it says a million Jewish slaves fled into Northern Africa. It was full of black Jewish slaves. I said, wait a minute, the Jews are white. That's what I said to myself. Because my grandma always had the Christian television network on. These are the Jews. These are the Jews. Sending them money. I couldn't get a dime from her. And then I typed in black Hebrew Israelites and led me to Priest of Bach. And that was all she wrote. And I went through every Israelite count. Priest of Bach. Uh, uh, G-O-C-C. L-O-Y. I-S-U-P-K. I-U-Y-C. Uh, Israel um, Christ. Israel of God. United in Christ. All of that. Uh, I went through all of them. Priest Bon Lawyer, you know, he, he in the spirit world right now. All of that. I went through I went, I went through all of the camps. My protege, Hanakala, came up to me and said, yo, these the elders. And ever since then, the Lord led me to Great Millstone. That was it. So what I thought I was doing was kind of like Paul. Just that I wasn't persecuting nobody. And then the Lord led me to GMS. The spirit led me to do all of that. My epiphany came when the Lord said, when I read in the book and it said, the, the, um, the slave market was full of black Jewish slaves. I said, oh, snap. But listen, with all that getting, you must get what? Understanding. Understanding. Right? So, the Lord, he revealed unto me the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So, if you're not speaking of prophecy, the Lord's not dealing with you. I mean, come on. We're talking about, it says that when they see Yahweh Shai, they're going to be scared, but yet there's fight. Didn't that edge you say it looked like he was flying on a mountain? On a flying, did not say the Lord, uh, he make it, the, he make it the clouds, his chariots. Did not say in first Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, we're going to be in the air with the Lord. Us, those of us that are still alive. If you are Oracle to be the oracles of God speak of judgment, righteousness and salvation. That's it. 
either you're going to have salvation or condemnation. No in between. So let's stop bull job and let's get with it. The Lord said he was going to put us in our land, not leaving to go to Africa. And, and you're laughing at the strangeness of your salvation. When the, when the missiles start to drop and, 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 and bombard America, what you going to do? Because they, they really going to get shot off in the four corners of the earth, too. Other countries are going to get hit. Listen, you cannot outrun the Most High's will. Don't you know that he's the father of spirits? He can just zap you right now. I don't get it, man. Jay, Jay, Jay think they wiser than the Lord. It's funny to me. But nonetheless, though, with that being said, I pray I was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quamash Allah. Muflabah. Shalom.